And while I have no grudge against you. Yo, what's going on, you guys? This is what RVG, aka the Random Black Gamer, here with my lovely and talented <laughs> wife, Jenna Lee, on the ones and twos, damn it. And this is me to the reactions, the place where we react to everything that we've never seen. And today, we're definitely reacting to something we've never seen, or at least I've only seen a fraction of this, but I don't know what the fuck is gonna happen. Um, Black Lagoon. Huh? Yes. The Black is The Black is but yeah, man, we're reacting to some Black Lagoon, man. This is coming off of a tier three request by my man Forever underscore anime, man. I'm sorry we took so long, but hey, better late than never. They say better late is better. So yeah, man, we ready to jump into this, man. It's like we've been dragging our nuts for way too long, and it's time, man. It's time to jump into them values with some Black Lagoon. I guess if you've been dragging your nuts, what am I dragging? My clit? Uh, I guess so. Whatever. You're dragging your toes. We're dragging it. We are. So, um, I don't know what this is about. I just know it's old. That shit ain't that old. It's 2006. It's the same age as my brother. So, we just got finished watching Spriggan, which was an awesome anime that came out in 1998. And it but still holds up very and well. And it had the good music. Well, this has some pretty good music, I don't know. When too. I think about Black Lagoon, you know what I think about? Them what? little children's books from first grade. The Black Lagoon. The teacher from the Black Lagoon. <laughs> the principal from the Black Lagoon. From the Black Lagoon. And, the, and then the kid be thinking it is. The teacher finna be crazy, some monster or some shit. And then it be all in his head and the teacher is actually normal. Yeah, that's how it be, man. But when I think of Black Lagoon, the only way I can surmise what it is is that it's basically like Cowboy Bebop on water. It's like it's not in space, but it has a melting pot of these different crazy individuals that just make up this team of, I guess, bounty hunters. I'm not even really sure. I just remember my me and my late friend, we saw a couple of episodes of this. But this was back when you had to catch shit when you could. And if you wanted to watch all of it in its entirety, you had to spend a lot of fucking dough for overpriced anime volumes, which was crazy back then but luckily things have changed now we have access to all this stuff for only like nine dollars a month on Funimation so we can actually watch it in its entirety one thing I remember is they had this girl wearing Daisy Dukes and her name was Rebby Two Hands cause I guess she has had what two hands what she do with those two hands I don't even know you know like she probably put hands on you do something but we gonna figure it out man I, I believe this came on like uh the channel IFC if I'm not mistaken, IFC or something like that. I, I can't remember exactly. We're going to figure it out because we got a, a maid, a woman with some booty shorts, and right. uh, somebody, somebody who looked like they from Russia. Yeah, she like that chick from, um, what's that shit called? Um, Helsing. But who knows, man. Here we go, man. We're going to jump into this. It's going to be episode one titled The Black Lagoon. So let's see what they talking about and if they got a lot of black people in the lagoon. I get my ass kicked by my boss all day. Damn. At the same time, I hope to be in his place someday. It's the only way to maintain your sanity here. You're gonna be a disrespectful cunt too when you get up in the winter. Where I once lived. It all seems so far away. Right now, all that's in front of me is the shimmering water of the South China Sea. The stirring winds. Damn! Uh, this black man's fist in my face. I'll ask you one more time. The package you got from the Asahi Industry Headquarters in Tokyo. The one you were in charge of until you handed over to the chief in Borneo. This is it, right? Yeah. But what I want to know is... We're all done with you now. Damn. You've given us what we wanted. <laughs> See, like a uh, 90s R&B singer, don't it? I say we kneecap this pussy. See, looks like our kill. There's no need. <laughs> that one disc is more than enough for the compensation. You call that compensation? The deal's off if anyone decides to come after us. What you see there is a torpedo launcher. If you don't want to float home on what's left of your ship, I recommend you stay put for the next half hour. After that, you're free to do as you wish. Oh, really? We're gonna live. Why are you looking so relaxed? You're gonna tag along with us. Stay on, dumbass. <laughs> you're joking. You're joking, right? And you shut up and walk. DJ. Today at approximately 4 p.m. What kind of dang? <laughs> right, it's like it's so zoomed out you can't even see the mouths or eyes. He looks like he ain't got no head, me no neck. He looks like a damn Q-tip with a suit. He do. <laughs> oh my god, he do. They're the Russian mafia. Oh, there it well, is. to be exact, they're a front for the branch that aims to take top position. 
After completely displacing the Chinese mafia from Southeast Asia, it part in some of our more unsavory chilling, activities in that area. Yo, yo. It's a regret. Oh, I don't know what these niggas want. Black man. It's shameful that we're vulnerable to black men. Based black man. So far, yeah. It would seem to me that at this point, anyway, they don't really know what's on the disc. If they ever found out, it would lead to the worst scandal in Asahi Industries history. Who been sleep with who? Indeed. Remy, what in the hell are you planning to do with this hostage now that you brought him with us, huh? Come on. What do you think, Tay Dix? You don't get it, do you? You just don't get it, do you, Dutch? Think about it. We're getting paid twenty grand for this job. Only twenty grand. What's wrong with collecting Man. bonus by asking for a ransom? You're being too simple-minded. You wanna die, buddy? Not really. So. Who's gonna negotiate with Japan? You? Yes. Do you have their phone number? How about That's why they got this nigga up on the boat. Shut up! Me. Shut up! You get what? Oh, I get your point like now, so let me go. <laughs> okay, Reggie. Let's play it cool. Carol? Mm-hmm. I'm alive. I don't know what, but somehow I'm alive. All right, all right. Let's go topside for a smoke. Why, nigga? Y'all just tried to bust a cap in my ass. Several caps. Your big ass ain't making it no better. You might try to violate me and do some shit you used to do back in the pen. There's going to be a ransom. Dressed up like Charlie Nash from Street Fighter. But, we have our own but look like Morris Chestnut. The way it is. Getting it is to a client has got to come first. <laughs> so there's a client. Now I get it. We're nothing more than delivery boys. Sometimes we'll break the rules to put food on the table. I feel like this big guy next to me is the only person I can trust in the entire world. <laughs> What's your name? Bukajima. Rokuro Bukajima. That's too hard. But I do feel bad for this employee. <laughs> What's his name? It's Okajima, sir. Rokuro Okajima. See, you can't remember it, man. That shit too hard. Okajima. You hear that, Okajima? Aren't I a hostage? Really? Wait, I'm coming too. Uh oh. <laughs> she went that out on time. Oh, she shit. Play a hater's ball. Let's go. Skier roll. Ooh, he's got a strong ass jawline. They all look a little real. They do. Like they smell like Sonic Burger lettuce. And pee. <laughs> they don't smell like pee. They smell like pee pee. That's what they look like. Yeah. Smell like pee 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 loans. <laughs> Dirty money. Dutch is a little bit unusual. After being around him for two years, all I can tell you is that he's tough, intelligent, and eccentric. You can give up on trying to figure him out. Got it. You seem different from the other people around here. Where did you come from? A college in Florida. Damn. I was fooling around. Was he like a hacker? Off the mafia and the FBI at the same time. And then... Yours truly stepped in and saved his ass before he stuck in a bag and thrown overboard. Mm. Stop the worthless storytelling. You're too young to be reminiscing. Now it's time for all of us to go shot for shot. <laughs> She know how to put it down, don't she? Ask me, beer's no different than this. Yes, that's, that's about that. Get you drunk. A real man Is that the Bacardi? But if you don't even have the balls to keep up with a woman, then I'm not going to try and force you. Though I might want to put a little dress on you with some pretty ribbons and take you up for a night of dancing. Some men might like that. They would. I hate chugging drinks like some teenager, but I'll make an exception. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you can hang it. I see. I was forced to drink at college. We're forced to drink at company social events. Never underestimate a Japanese businessman. Why you? <laughs> hey, bartender! Bring us all the Bacardi you got right now! Let's go, man! And all this time here, I was thinking you didn't want a confrontation. Hear Tell me the number and affiliation of those soldiers. Speak up and make it fast. Guys from Extra Order, a mercenary contacting agency. I don't know how many there are. The EO company scouts experience war jobs. Just our luck. Try not to die. Shit. Okay, so they don't play about their money. Is it good looking? The Russian lady. I thought she was Russian. 
Uh, that's what she is. I'm wondering. I think so. I don't know. Uh, she needs some cocoa butter for her skin, though, know, because she looking a little crusty. Oh, shit. It's like that? It's what Lambo oh, is? It gotta be a Lambo. Let's do it, boys. Let's crash this party. Now, do you see why people have guns everywhere? Enjoy yourself. Remy, I think now's a good time to show them why you're called two hands. Yeah, show sure. Secure the building. I heard voices. I need to show these how I dog the building. Maybe that's what he looks like. What a great line. Let's go. Your big cry style. Well, your asshole shut and make you a new one on your head. What's up with these asshole shuts? Like, For I real. mean, you know. Somebody get an asshole. Right? Y'all got Tony Atlas in there? She's sleeping. She's a super freak. Boy, this is Coyote Ugly, the anime. You. Fine then, but we can't have you slowing us down. Bitch, I'm gonna shoot him in his ass. Shit, the way they've been talking, probably. <laughs> <laughs> this poor guy. Right? <laughs> like, he was just trying to do his job. He was at his accounting desk, and here he is. As soon as he blinked. That was so pissed off, they look like a steaming pot. He said, unless we pay him back, he's gonna weld our assholes. That's scary. I think I'm gonna cry. What is this? Don't be stupid. This is way more entertaining than Hollywood's ever gonna be. If negotiations don't go well, we're gonna have to leave you in Malaya. Those people see and die up in 2006. The place is crawling with my eyes and But you should survive for a while. Okay? Are you serious? You bring me this far just to let me die? What is this? After dragging me everywhere? You're the ones who brought me here. The least you could do is leave me someplace safe. I wouldn't push your luck. <laughs> First you come crying to us, then you want to use us like a taxi? I know. <sighs> Why don't I do you a fucking favor and show you what color I can't is? stand this Casper. Yeah, she's so nice. We're using an assault dial so the line should be totally secure. Brock, it's your boss, Mr. Kageyama. <laughs> Hello there, sir. Okajima speaking. I'm very sorry. Now, regarding the loss of the disc, I can't... Right. There's no need to worry about that anymore. As far as I'm concerned, that disc no longer exists. I don't understand. Given your situation, I suppose it can't hurt to tell you the truth. Keep this to yourself. <laughs> it's difficult to explain, but in order to hedge against a downturn in business, our board agreed to aid in the development of nuclear weapons for a certain war-torn country. That disc contained the plans. For the sake of the 50,000 employees of Asahi Industries, disappear into the South China Sea. You'll be promoted up to assistant manager, and I'll also request that the president and all of the other board members attend your funeral. <laughs> well then, man, that's fucked up, man. They just gotta leave and act like you dead. Is it loaded? Fully armed, Captain. Rockets and machine guns. Oh, the bad more you shoot, the more the invoice will be. The Japanese sure are generous. Let's move out. <laughs> they weren't worried about ditching you. Though I guess I can sympathize. Anyway, there goes the ransom, which means I don't get a bonus. But is all that really enough to make you throw up? Just leave me alone. Really? Are you on deck? Uh huh. I'm picking up something and it's coming straight at us, but it's not a boat. It's way too fast. It's a three hours, five minutes. Can you see anything?
Liquid Snake? This bitch ass nigga. What are you gonna make? Really? This is a good, serious shit. Nigga, you better learn how to point and shoot. Oh, this nigga just say I'm a coward here. I can't even be mad though. He comes out of an office he, like, he, but he ain't got no survival instinct. This nigga literally take got told that he's dead. Oh wow. What? <laughs> That's some nigga shit right there. Bro, get my ass up out of here, you crazy mother. Damn. Better do something. Boy, they do it for You just don't get it, do you? Right now, I got these poor bastards exactly where I want them. Don't you want to have a good long laugh while they piss themselves down there? You all seem to think you can do and say anything know what they you want to me, everyone. I didn't even realize that. <laughs> Will someone tell me why the hell I have to suffer like this? Wasn't had enough. As soon as he said he had enough, it just go off with this bitch walking down the Isn't Sunset it? Boulevard. But guys, this episode won the Black Lagoon. I think that was a pretty good start. It's got an interesting premise. This guy, he's basically just like a lost duck at sea. He doesn't know where to go. Yeah, he unfortunately um, has been thrown into some stuff that he has no idea what the hell's going on. His boss is like, eh, we've been making nuclear weapons. Um, right. You did. You have the disc. So, yeah, we're going to kill you. But, hey, at least you get a promotion out of it at your funeral. You got ranked up. But you can't come back here no more because love don't live here for your ass. It don't. Um, I'll give that a... I'll give it a B minus. A B minus? Oh, wow. You're not feeling it at all. Uh, yeah, man. I, I enjoy it. I think I'll give it an A plus. Like an A plus. Like the animation looks good, but you can tell this is this is a little bit dated, but it's been remastered. But sometimes things kind of get taken away in terms of remasters, like the detail, like faces tend to disappear from time to time when it's zoomed out. Yeah, I um I do not like that female character for any reason. <laughs> Revy. No, I don't like her at all. Um shoot. I don't really like any of them except the, the dude who just was doing his job. Shit. Who, the black dude or the... No, uh, the, the Japanese man. Uh, OG, OK, Java. Uh, oh. Rock. That's what I'm Yeah, we're going to call him. Rock or uh, Kayeda Rukawa from Slam Dunk. Well, <laughs> Rock, and he was just trying to do his job. He got kidnapped and now he just thrown into some... He on a damn ship when they blasting. <laughs> For real? Like, what is he supposed to do? Like... And everybody's just being so harsh to it, but I will give Dutch credit though. He seems to be like the father figure of this group. He's kind of like the Jet Black, which yeah. I'm, I'm interested in seeing how they're gonna take that. That dude that played Jet Black, like he can play Rock too, or uh, play Dutch. He do, yeah. You got <laughs> Spike. that dude, and then you you got fucking yep. I don't even know. But yeah, I guess we're gonna keep it moving and grooving with episode two, man. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Punch him in his armor nuts. What the fuck? Oh my god, he's trying to grab you. He's trying to do a ground and pound, bro. <laughs> Thunder in paradise. They busting at y'all ass. Damn it. Will someone tell me why I have to suffer like Tell me why, why do I have to be the guy? Get rid of the guns that you can defend yourself with. Yeah. Right. Rock! What the hell are you thinking? Do you have any idea how much one of those things costs? Jesus. They came here to kill me. Why should I have to suffer for all this crap my boss got us involved in? 
I think you're missing the point here. What they really want is to destroy that disc, right? Your life is just... My life is just an accessory to that! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! There's a torpedo in Yeah, you can tell he don't know nothing about nothing that's going on here. What do these guys want, anyway? He's talking, y'all. What is it? She got his little R&B singer headpiece My mind's telling me no. That's what you look like. But this bounty is telling me, yeah, yeah, you. I don't want to shoot nobody. Right. We won't be able to take evasive maneuvers. Let's turn this boat around and get out of here. Yeah. Well, see, he looks like our Kelly. Why you got them glasses like old boy had on uh, Full Metal Alchemist? That half is balling guy. Yeah, show his eyes and then. Shit. They just playing with y'all, man. They could have been blew y'all up. Right. Heading to Louisiana now. Yeah, that is what they look like. <laughs> Looking like Cato Lake over there. But I guess I can't redeem myself now, right? I wouldn't say that. I didn't have any other options. I had to evade to the right. Yeah, I know that. Well, we both know that you'll be coming back to me real soon. And when you do, we're gonna go head to head. Hurry back! I'll be waiting! I'm getting real hard right now. Just imagining how they're gonna react to a situation. <laughs> like Him and assholes and, and hard and weird shit. Like? I'm sure we'll honeycomb that photo there. That's exactly why I can't wait to he see He likes playing with prostates. <laughs> If they make this boring for us and don't even fight back, Cross then we state should get nice and slow. There's no road ahead of us. The only option we have now is to turn around. And when we do that, he'll be waiting for us. That's why y'all got that mankind music playing mankind in the background. Make put an extra if it's on this damn uh, lady. Or she over there. Face to face. <laughs> so, who wants to ring the god? It ain't something that happens every day, but once in a while you find them around. I figured something out. Now that I've had time to think, just hear me out. If you break my concentration again, then I'll let Revy hit you next time. <laughs> it ain't gonna be pretty. Well, the I whole family will be your ass. Are you retarded? Yeah. <laughs> How come we have a shot? All we have on board is an anti-tank rifle. They've got missiles on their side. I noticed that chopper had infrared homing missiles on it. Actually, we don't even come close. You well, think so? We do have something we can use. Really? What have you been giving him the trick? Don't mm -hmm. blame me for this. If you think about it, this is just a big game of chicken, right? This boat's armaments, its speed, that sunken ship we passed. I'm pretty sure we have everything we need. But the idea is exciting. And what's the point of life if you can't get excited? Right, let's do this thing. Mm. I accept your challenge. Ah, bitch ass nigga like you would, huh? Right. You know what you gotta do, right? If they fire a missile, I shoot the signal flare away from the boat. Nice. Oh, yeah, there are heat sick missiles, aren't there? Or infrared. Send them into protection. Yup! Could blue you. Like you use that as a ramp? That ain't no shield, my boy. They going in here first. Okay. <laughs> this nigga wanna fuck they shit up at this point. This man, he somebody please. I would be surprised, boy. Allow this man to clap something. Hey. <laughs> Shoot. Damn. Just gonna get good. Mm -hmm. Damn. One of them fell though. Well, he ain't finna be breathing no more. Like he was looking so dumbfounded. Get fucked, bitch. Yes. Dude, 
have gotten fuck now. Exactly. With a hard missile like that. Right. right in the face. You got a full on facial. We have to fix all this up. Wait a minute. Oh, Hold up. Man. What about Rock? Uh, he's passed out over there. <laughs> he was yelling like a maniac right before we. What got is up with these Just dirty magazines? Really Who drew this? Bunch. You already Just know. Looking. He looks so comfortable sprawled out like that. Yeah. No kidding. <laughs> and just like that, the moment passed. All the excitement I felt from the adrenaline just disappeared somewhere. And my boiling blood had returned to normal. Where am I? And what am I doing here? Who are these people? Right? Excellent work. You know, I really admire smart work, Dutch. But I've got to tell you, you guys are all looking a little rough. I should go at the bottom of my foot. Dinner party. It's just our style. Now, Mr. Kagiyama, we from Hotel Moscow have a coat of honor. Yeah, she is. Mm -hmm. I thought she was. I thought you were a representative of the Bougainvillea Trade Company. As you can see, we followed through on our end of the bargain. So there shouldn't be any hard feelings. Of course not. The world is full of things. You gonna take your boy back too, though? Now it's your turn to follow through on your end of the bargain. We'll go over the details at the hotel. He probably enjoyed it. Thanks for your good work on this. Oh, more lively than his on, regular life. <laughs> well, Kajima, what are you waiting for? Come on. Hey, boss, don't you remember? I'm dead. Well, you should. I'm already dead. You said it, remember? And by the way, my name is Rock now. The Great One. And so, very well. Do as you wish. Let's get going. <laughs> boss say, I ain't gonna fight you. <laughs> He kind of reminded me of a Japanese version of John Carlo's character. <laughs> right. <laughs> Box. Like, okay, well, uh, I ain't gonna fight you on it. Bye. Right. <laughs> Rock. Well, I owe you an apology for making you talk to those idiots. And yet, it would have been a waste for a tough guy like you to remain as a point skin. Mm. I want you to come to us if there's anything you ever need. Goodbye. He didn't hey. give them an idea to save all their life. He did. He's going to be the calculative one. I thought Kajima. the dude the computer was going to do that, but. Well, Kajima is no longer an apologist. Oh, he looked Japanese. The look in his eyes is all the proof I need. Yes, but what could Plus, change? I wouldn't really want to work there no more after no, I know their secret. Yeah. What if he just go decide to kill me one day? Exactly. Because I know too much. What will you do now? Guess I'm not a hostage anymore. And I've got nowhere to go. Hey, there's this crew I've heard of that might be looking for a good sailor. She got some pretty nice booty cheeks I'd like to touch. Mm -hmm. Where else I'm gonna go? Her booty cheeks probably smell like gunpowder and sweat. <laughs> shit, everybody trying to test that shit. Oh. Meanwhile, on Destiny Island. What's wrong? There appears to be a small vessel blocking our way, Captain. We've been sounding the horn for a while, but it won't budge. Okay. You a dragonfly fish? What is that thing? Well, it was inevitable that some information would be leaked. And I think we were all prepared for that to happen. It was a job well done, Kageyama. Thank you very much, sir. I am honored. That nigga said, man, I'm kicking back. Uh, testing. Testing. Um, good morning to everybody who is presently aboard the St. Joan. Uh, I want to wear that Hawaiian shirt I got for you at the market. <laughs> it's a good fit. Because we happen to be at work. That's right. I consider this to be my job now. <sighs> um, 
To everybody aboard the St. Joan, I apologize for the sudden request, but I'm going to have to ask you to please stop your ship right away. <laughs> immediately or we'll have no choice but to force our way through. Well, I guess it can't be helped. Okay, Betty. Ready? Good. I was sick of waiting. <laughs> It's not that loud. She's loud, though. <laughs> Some good old BB okay, King. Okay, boy. Give notice to Leon E. Pan's guys. BB King ain't never made nothing that sound that dreadful. <laughs> no. Roger that. Talking one hand on. I'm home. Hey, John. <coughs> Something that happened to this nigga. It is. Who's that? Jokinori, how are things? Uh, your studies for the entrance exam. who don't know shit. So uh, I'm gonna go and live a peaceful oh, life no and surprise. probably okay. end up on Mushiko mm -hmm. Tensei. We need to talk about your daughter. She's been getting he did look like Mushiko Tensei. She's like Rudy. an 18 year old girl, you know. Could you say something to her? I thought that was your responsibility. Damn. Mm. Hmm. The stocks. Hey, Daddy. What color was the sea in that really warm country where you just went to? That one for your business trip? Color of the sea? I don't really know. Daddy was busy working the whole time down there. Imagine having that for a husband. For real. I don't give a shit about nothing. I've become a pirate of the South Seas. Huge ship was today's catch. Okay, we need to get back to port before lunch. The China Cow Han. <laughs> Always sells out quickly. They do just steal a lot of weapons or cargo. Who knows? Undertaker music. Is that it? It's got the saddest outro? Right, I wonder if something's gonna happen to her. I don't think so, because it looked like her footsteps and guns and water, which. Usually don't mean nothing good. Uh, cool rivers. Mangrove heaven, man. But man, um, that's episode two, man. That was a lot better than the first. I enjoyed the first one, but this is a major step up. This because... was a major step up. I did not so much enjoy the first one, maybe because it's something that was new and I was trying to get a feel for what was going on. Yeah. But this one I did enjoy quite a bit. So I'll give this one an A+. Plus. Yeah, I'm giving it an A+, plus as well, man. The animation was on point. The action was on point. And we got a chance to see this damn arrogant-ass character get what he deserves, man. That nigga was on some he other shit. He got it's like he literally wanted to fuck this ship. I wouldn't be so proud, like surprised, if, like a dick just dropped out of his like helicopter and tried to plow the shit out of their boat. Wouldn't shock me, cause Dog the Bounty Hunter, he was over there doing the most. For real. You everything just gonna get a new a hole. Down. Everything finna get effed. Everything finna get everything. The boat fucker. Uh, but uh, yeah, um, I got a feeling that Rock he gonna actually get caught up again with the company he used to work for. I think so too and I think he's gonna have to kill his old boss. Probably because I thought that was what's gonna happen like oh the boss I thought that was just gonna kill him. I did too. It's like ah, I think my new name is Rock. Okay bye. It's like it's gonna be a slow build though. It's like something gonna happen where they gonna want that disc because they realize what it is. they already got it. I mean I'm talking about somebody else gonna want it because you gotta realize like some information has already been leaked yeah. and that's all it takes is a little bit of uh, data for somebody to just grow interested in something that you was trying to keep a secret so that's what I think is going to happen in the meantime we're probably going to get a lot of downtime with most of these characters like the main people on the Black Lagoon like Dutch probably see something with this. I don't really want to see no 
I don't know. I got a feeling Dutch is probably a family man because they love making a black dude have a daughter. That they a be. daughter. And they baby mama won't be fucking with him and shit. Right. <laughs> they be trying to get back together with her and right. come get their daughter. It's and... like Dutch probably had a hard time trying to figure out what he was going to do for a living. He was probably a male stripper, but he also became a bounty hunter or some shit like that. He wanted that. to be a singer. He tried out for work. Tyler Perry movies, put the grease on his body and all that. He, it just didn't no, work. it didn't work out for him. So... I don't know either that or she would probably used to be an adult film star with all about <laughs> everywhere because uh King but. Kong delicious man <laughs> King Kong delicious Byron right? Plumper anyway so thank you so much for watching this episode um freak old strong but uh yeah man cheers uh, shout outs to my man Forever underscore anime for recommending this. I can't wait to just embark on this journey and I'm yeah. going to savor every bit of it because it's only 25 episodes total. I do wonder where this dude, if Rock is going to become more ruthless than the rep than all of them. Yep. Well, uh, we'll see. But anyways, guys, that's going to do it for us today. We hope you enjoyed this episode reaction because as always, we have a blast reacting to them for you and with you. It's awesome that we can have some of our repertoire to watch, especially on Patreon. So yeah. Look forward to some more episodes. But this is your boy RBG, aka the Random Black Gamer. My lovely wife, Jenny Lee, on the ones and twos. We ain't seen it reactions. We'll catch you guys on the next reaction to Black Lagoon. Peace!